Hi everybody, this is Melina with Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. I'm back to show you a page that I did. And I have a process video following this. So if you'd like to know how it came together, then you can finish watching after I tell you about it. I realized that when I'm telling y'all about my scrapbook pages before the process video, most of all the captions that I have in the process video I've already told you about. But anyways, I put them in there, put the captions in there just so if anybody wants to take notes or something like that, they can stop it and, you know, read the captions if they need to. So I'd rather give too much information is not enough and then have you guessing at what I was doing. So <laughs> anyway, this is a page that I completed for the 123 Get Scrappy challenge blog that I own. I have a great design team on that challenge blog. I would invite you to come over and um, visit us at www.123getscrappy.blogspot.com. I'll have the link to it in the description below. And also, uh, my friend of mine uh, has a challenge blog, Let's Get Scrappy, or no, Let's Get Sketchy. Sorry, Ben Shiva. <laughs> Let's Get Sketchy. And I went by her sketch to get this done. So anyways, I started with a piece of Stamp It Up uh, crumb cake cardstock, and I sprayed it with Mr. Huey's um, the white calico white spray and then I misted it with that and then the teal color is a tattered angels that I tapped onto so I didn't show that in the video I'd already done it so it would dry and then I could get the video done um, the letters these puffy letters are thickers um, this paper is from uh, recollections pad from uh, Michaels. The all of this paper is from Teresa Collins' Santa's List uh, that I got from the Scrapbooking with Me boutique on Facebook. I used my Jelly Roll pins a lot on this, and I also got those from Scrapbooking with Me. I inked around all of the edges um, not inked around I'm sorry I jelly rolled around all the edges to doodled them and then I doodled around all of the pictures too gave it just a little bit of now I don't know about y'all but my white jelly pen does not like pictures I don't know why but I guess just because of the glossiness of them but <clears throat> my, my jelly rollers do not like marking on pictures. So I'm going to have to find something else that does better on pictures. And then all of these little die cut pieces are from the Teresa Collins Santa's list. And I just either got them out of the die cut page or I punched them out of another page. And that's got some glitter on it and then for a little added something I have a little journaling booklet in a glycine bag that I got from the scrapbooking with me boutique on Facebook you all need to check out our bag album look at all the neat bags we have for sale in the boutique so I just taped that behind. I have a little bit of tape on the very bottom of it. I didn't tape this part down at all. Okay. And then I made this little booklet by stamping with this stamp set from Inka Dinka Doo. With that snowflake in cherry cobbler ink from stamp it up 
and I just inked around the edges. I inked around all of my edges on this page with the Tim Holtz Antique Linen Distress Ink and my handy dandy sponge daubers. Inked around all the edges. Then I stamped it, left the inside blank for journaling, and stamped the back. I thought that was neat. Even if it's in a page protector, which it will be, all my 12 by 12 goes in the old style albums with the page protectors. I do all my 12 by 12 like that. But even if it is in a page protector, you can easily slide it out and read what you know you put in there. And it's just a little neat way. I mean, I know I did journaling here, but this was her kindergarten Christmas program, so I'll have more to say about it than just, hey, this was her <laughs> program. Um, the ribbon, you'll see a caption in the video. I got this really cheap at a local craft store after a Christmas sale. There's like 50 yards of it on a roll. I might have paid $2 for it. Might have paid $2 for it. And then this piece is just for my stash too. And some of you might say, okay, there's no blue in your pictures. Why did you add blue? I love to contrast when I can because I feel that if you go too much with exactly what's in the pictures, it makes your page look a little bland. So anyways, I just decided that blue was going to be my alternative color and ran with it. So... Well, I hope you enjoy this process video that is coming up. Here is how this page came together.
Thank you.